This is the Decor and Lifestyle Centre. that this would fit in with the aesthetic of the house that I am staging. Um, for the refrigerator, I really wanted something that is really, really energy efficient and also has the colors of the other appliances so that they are coordinated. The refrigerators that are here, um, and I am limited to guys, to the refrigerate the, the appliances that the supplier um, supplies because this home staging is actually done the, the furnishings are going to be provided by Coast Jamaica Limited and we um, um, have to use the pieces that are in the store right because for the home staging the, the, the company really wants to showcase as much of their furnishings and appliances and accessories um, this is something that I have let me see, we could look at this one. Oh, this is nice and stacked, I like it. Right, this is what you call sexy, I like this. Very nice. So I'm, back, I'm thinking about that one, I might go with that, I like it a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna go now over to the furnishing section to see what the sofa looks like, what the console table, and some of the accessories. So come along. This is a sofa that I'm considering. I'm considering this one because of the color. The color works really well, but I am a little bit in two minds about the size of it. I don't think it's gonna fit in there. Um, with enough space to even do a coffee table and um, you know maybe add a few more pieces so while it's nice and comfortable I'm also thinking of other options so let's look around right. and as you can see they have different type console tables right there's another type and I'm looking at this the color scheme that I'm going for here is another interesting chair too. Um, so this one could work also with the color palette that we're going with. Nice. Love this. Love this. Love this. Love this. Nice and soft and squishy. Love this. Right, so. So there are a few accessories here. I am still not sure I'm too, in two minds about what I'm going to be using. They have nice shack cushions. Yeah, and I want to really let this house feel very, very luxurious. Yeah, throws here as well. A lot of throws. And then, oh yeah, well, they also have drapery. They have some drapery in here. See? And I'm seeing colors here that could work with the design that I'm putting together. There are things that are definitely some of my faves, including a gold bowl like this. It's definitely my fave. And then... This is a fabulous piece of accessory that I like. And this could also work, right? Um, we haven't looked at rugs, so let's look, look and see what the rugs look like. We have rugs here, right? 
and I'm trying to go with a blue and cream color scheme for the living room. So guys, we're leaving the supermarket. Welcome to the Genesis Manor home stage. Come on in guys, I want to show you what's happening in here, inside here. So, the living room. Very, very muted colors as you can see. And this is, the, this is done intentionally because we want to give the appearance that the space is actually bigger than it is, right? I've used all the same tones for the most part with a little bit of accent in, in terms of the focal point on the center table here, but that's it. Not a lot going on inside of the space. And over here we have the television and a small console table underneath to just house a few pieces of accessory. And then on this wall we had a little bit of challenge because we had a white space but I didn't want to put a painting here because it wouldn't balance on the other side. So I opted to do a small shelf with a couple of vignettes, which is, as you can see, quite tasteful. So the dining table guys, as you can see, has a small display area here that you can showcase a couple of your accessories. And the shape of the table mimics this, the space that is here, right? The, the accessories up there, as you can see, all coordinating. And right here guys, I want to give a little shout out to my, to my friend and neighbor who manufactures these amazing functional 
accessory pieces. So this is a cutting board that I have just used to ground this centerpiece. And all of this is from Caribaco, but I will give them a feature on my channel and you can see all the amazing products that they do make. All right? So we come over here into the kitchen and we still have a few pieces again from Caribaco because this, this is a, a coffee filter. Amazing product, as you can see, and quite functional, right? So it's not only decorative. But in the kitchen, so you see, we have our, our electric range here. And, oh guys, we didn't put in a range hood over here because the supplier didn't have one. And I want to take this opportunity to just mention that the furnishings here are provided by the largest, largest wholesaler and retailer of furnishings and they are the one who have provided the furnishings for this unit okay so i am limited to what they have in terms of the furnishings so we opted to leave this space open all right over here there's also another awesome piece from caribaco that i wanted to showcase on the island because we are having a pattern here and a pattern here i needed something to be able to break both both um colors here and this neutral palette here in terms of the the pieces that are manufactured just do real justice um in doing that right and then as we come around i want to just showcase again that this is a space for the dishwasher the developer was supposed to provide this and we're having some challenges so i still have to do the video without it right but by open day the dishwasher should be in Okay, and then we have this amazing refrigerator on this side. So guys, welcome to the primary bedroom. We have done some magic in here because the developer really wants to showcase the architectural feature of the house so the staging is really a marriage between function aesthetic and also getting to showcase the architectural details of the house for the developer so i have opted to leave the window uncovered but soften the, the bedroom by creating these two window treatments on either side of the master bed, right? And that softens and gives the luxurious feel. The bedding, as you can see, very, very muted again because we want to showcase all that is furniture. And do, in doing that, we have to keep the bedding, all the soft furnishings, really, really light in color. I've used a gold in the bedroom, as you can see right around, there are accents of gold. And that came from this inspiration painting. That was the inspiration for the room, hence the hint of gold right around. I also opted to just use two small stools here because I wanted to showcase space. And I could have put in a bedroom bench in here, but like I said, space is paramount when you're doing staging. We're right at the laundry area. And I've 
um, added a laundry combo which is a washer and dryer stackable unit because this really does save on space quite functional and as you can see very sexy i like it i want to talk about this this art piece here and why i chose it i needed something that would influence the color of the secondary bedroom moving on to show flow and continuity but the electrical panel is a challenge in jamaica we are not supposed to cover the electrical panel because that goes against code And again, really soft tones and the soft furnishings in here, which is the bedding, drapery, complements the wall color. And I just wanted to add a little pop of color in all of this and we opted for pink. Right, so this would be nice for a girl's room. Even though the furnishings are dark, again, we had to use really light colors to keep the design fresh and airy. So guys, we've basically come to the end of the tour and I hope you really enjoyed this staging tour. I had a lot of challenges guys, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to pretend, a lot of challenges. But at the end of the door, thank you so much for spending the time with me.